Hello, this is Becky Grumlick with the Watercolor Classroom and Watercolor Tips. Many of you have been asking me to make a video about the magical backgrounds, and so I'm gonna do that today, and I'm gonna start. So I've put some already down here, some of this um, darker Payne's Gray, and I have quite a line there, but as I come up, I'm gonna mush it around. So I always do this with a round brush or a soft brush of some kind. And then as I come up here, I'm gonna get into some of the other colors. I'll have some green. And I'm just gonna put these stems in in negative space and then work on them later. And I'll probably want to clean my brush and drop in something a little brighter in some places to make that variegated look happen. Let's get some of these greens in here and keep it as kind of variegated and then get some of the yellows up here. Whatever you put on one side of a stem, it needs to come out on the other side the same thing. So in other words, you don't want this to be a totally different color from this. You want them to be as if they had continued. And so I need to make this a little bit darker on this side so that it looks like it continued. It's really dark um, paint, um, Payne's Gray and Ultramarine Blue. And along this very bottom part, I'm not even gonna worry about doing anything variegated. I'm just putting it on there. But now I wanna get into some of the lighter blue so that some of these greens show through. And those greens I had already done this to, and so they're, kind, they're actually quite, quite pretty. So I'm gonna keep going a little bit lighter as we go up. And then I'll put some yellow in it too. I like that better yellow better than the other yellow. I might use that more. This is a leaf here coming from the side. M here. All right, now let's put some fun stuff in there. We'll get some of the yellows as we come up and get it much brighter at the top than it is at the bottom. Again, we want one side, what's behind on one side to be the same as what's behind on another side. So we need to have a similar darkness. So I want this uh, yellow to come across here a little bit. So I put quite a bit there because it needs to come all, all over. Some of it over here. finds the bottom of the flower. So now I'm holding three brushes. And you have to be careful when you do that because sometimes you can plunk down a totally disastrous color. I 
believe I'm done. Thank you so much for watching.